Walking Lanka is uh, in level one is not a it doesn't have a very strong presence. It's it's there as an introduction. Uh, as we move through the curriculum, uh, the the tools taught in Walking Lanka become more and more uh, prevalent, more more and more strongly used. Uh, so the Walking Lanka is a straight line with uh, hash marks every two feet, um, and then. We, what it teaches is us to move uh, and maintain our basic structure as we move. The basic structure is my, the yellow line is my lead, I call it line of intention. So my lead foot is going to be, uh, the center of my lead foot is on that line and my foot is aimed down that line. My back foot, the center of, that, of my foot is on the line and, but it's, my foot is 45 degrees from it. Um, and then I, my center line uh, is, is also oriented down that line. And then from the side, you can see I have a, a, a lean where I, there's a straight line. I want a straight line from the crown of my head to my back heel. What I don't want is a bend in my, in my structure. And I want, so I want to have um, good posture, straight line, and good structure. So now the, the actual walking, I start out with my back foot, the center of my back foot, and by center of the foot I mean uh, the uh, behind the ball of the foot towards the heel. Just behind the ball of the foot there's a little depression there. That's the center of the foot. So I want to put that on, on the starting point and then settle into my kudamati with my lead foot running down the line of intention. And I, I've already got my center line aimed down that line of intention as well. Uh, at this point I've really all, already got all my structure. Straight line from crown to the, he, to the heel, although since I'm standing upright, my legs are together, it's not a lean to get that straight line at this point. I step out and as I step out the two foot is just, it's a hair longer than I really want. So I adjust. Right. And the, the distance we're looking for is roughly our shoulder width, right, uh, on a stance. So I, if I pivot here, it's shoulder width. That's, that's the width we're looking for generally. There are, there are some more um, traditional ways to measure it out and whatever, but, but uh, the two foot gives us a, a decent guideline. It, that's where we want to step. That gives us our penetration. But then our just is sort of our follow-up to the motion. So, I step out, then I open my lead foot, so it's 45 to the, to the uh, line of intention, and I step through and I want to bring my back foot high as I step through. So I, I want it to come through this hole in my knee structure that has opened up, because this keeps my whole structure over the line of intention. If I, if I step like this, now, I'm off the line of intention, which means I'm vulnerable on the line of intention. My objective here is to move, maintain my structure on the line of intention so that I'm, I'm strongest on my line of intention. So I open my lead foot, turn it 45 degrees, bring my back foot up through, and step to the next point, then adjust. Open, step, adjust okay so you do that down the entire line the line can be as long as you want um, then the uh, as I move I want to maintain my the rest of my structure so one of the most common mistakes is that uh, if you watch my center here as I step I open this up and my center already is shifted off this way and as I step it just gets a little worse so now my center is over here instead of here. So as I step, I want to maintain that center right here on that down that line of intention. Um, then the the I also want to maintain the lean so that well I can't maintain the lean, but I want to maintain the structure. I want to maintain 
that line from crown of head to back heel. So, uh, and, and the biggest thing I don't want to do is I don't want my head level to, to bob up and down. So, if I, as I'm stepping through, I'm already kind of vulnerable because I'm on one leg. But, if I also bring everything up, then I'm that much more, more vulnerable. When I'm in this structure here, if you imagine the line here where my head is, when I open this up, I may sink below that line. And then when I come here and through, I may come back up to that line. But I don't ever want to go above that line.